Hello. Hey. So, what do we got here now? Trigonometry. Uh, trigonometry here is, you see an equation to solve and you're just so tempted to to solve it by hand, do some substitutions, maybe a little unit circle action there going, but the problem is, or at least the, the one thing is, if you're sitting next to your calculator, just type in the whole thing into Y1 and find the x-intercepts because that will save time, you'll get automatic points, and you'll be done in just a, you know, just a few seconds. So, what's this You mentioned right? you have a new guest in the room? I have another guest. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Patrick, or Patrick. otherwise best known as Pado. Pado. Okay. All right. Mr. Kerbis, how do I get the sine squared going here? Sine squared, the, the sine squared um, notation that you'll see on the exam doesn't correspond to what the calculator understands. So you have to open a bracket up before sine. Yeah. No, open up bracket up before sine. No, not even close. <laughs> sine, so parentheses sine. Yeah. X, parentheses, parentheses. And then squared. squared. Yeah. Okay. Plus 3 cosine x minus 3. Okay. I'm going to show you a new trick to find the x-intercepts. I'm going to put in 0 for this. And mm -hmm. then I can just find the intersection. It's a little bit faster, I would say. So then let's go second. Uh, let's go window. Negative 2 pi. 2 pi. Okay, so let's get in there a little bit better. Okay, so how many do we have there? Wow, that's a lot of solutions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so what do we do? Second calc. Because we set up the zero already, we can do the intersect. Should make it a little bit faster, but keep in mind you can just do the zero if you'd like. So, enter, enter, enter. Finds the first intersection, x equals zero. So x equals zero. Mm -hmm. Second calc, intersect. Let's go to this. Actually, this looks pretty symmetric, doesn't it, Mr. Kerbis? Yeah, if we get the one, we should be able to take the negative of it. Enter, enter, enter. So, plus and minus one point zero five mm -hmm. and second calc intersect go over to this guy enter, enter, enter. plus and minus five point two four yeah okay I think that endpoint is one over there? Mm -hmm, we'll find out. Alright, so then second calc intersect again. Last time. Uh, enter, enter, enter. And no sign change. Huh. Doesn't touch, does it? Unless it's in the top Well, end. the only thing Keep is, trying. we're from minus 2 pi to 2 pi, and those values are included. So what when we do our window, we should do a little bit more than that, actually. We'll go to the window and maybe do minus 2 pi minus 1. Yeah, and then 2 pi plus 1. How about 7? Sure. Okay. And then We're we can check about it. This last one, yeah. Uh, so it's second calc number 5. And then rather than scroll all the way over, if you just type 2 pi. 2 pi. Yeah. Oops. Oops. So second calc, number five, and then two pi. Oh, tell me, turn a line to me, Mr. Curvis. No, I thought I was gonna learn something new here. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> I guess it just works as the zeros, but you don't have to go the whole way over if you just type the values in. Okay, so intersect. Keep going. And then enter, enter, enter. It's gonna do it. It's gonna do it. Yep. There yeah, it is. So we gotta make sure we have plus and minus two pi. Plus and minus two pi. Excellent. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven solutions okay. to that quadratic. Yeah. Oh, wow. And if you did this by hand, I gotta. 
there's a good bet that uh, you probably wouldn't get all seven of those things. Right. Yeah. So you have to be careful for words that they'll use. This could show up, of course, on a, on a non-calc paper. They could make you use your special triangles and unit circle that way. Or it could also show up if they say solve da 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 for some domain and state your answer exactly. So just be careful those key words that they're going to throw around and, and they'll usually be in bold. But uh, that's perfect, eh? Perfect. In every sense of the word. <laughs>